Some people feel like the worst thing in math class is having to do word problems and extract out equations from this with all this different information. It's all right, I've got you covered. What's up y'all, I'm Tom, this is Like a Math Class, let's get to setting up systems of equations. While training for a cross country meet, Ian is trying to find a good breakfast to replenish his body after his early morning run. His coach says that he should have 950 calories for breakfast with 25 grams of protein. Ian is planning on making oats with nut butter. One serving of oats contains 200 calories and two grams of protein, and the nut butter has 180 calories and eight grams of protein per serving. How many servings of each should Ian make? Ah, that's a lot of information, but that's okay. I've got five steps for you that's gonna help you walk through how to sort through all this information. Here are my five steps. And we'll look at these one by one within the context of the situation as well. First thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the two contextual goals. Then we're going to identify the two constraints, define your variables, write the two equations, and finally solve the system of equations using either graphing, elimination, or substitution. So let's start by identifying the two contextual goals. This first part is just background information setting up the problem. We don't actually need this, so I'm gonna get that off of the screen so we've got more space to work with. So we're gonna identify the contextual goals. Contextual goals are often at the beginning or end of the problem. So generally look for the first sentence or the last sentence when you're starting to build out this equation. So I see two different things here. The first thing I see is his coach says he has to have 950 calories for breakfast and he has to have 25 grams of protein. So those are the end goals, those are the totals, that's what we're shooting for. So we've got 950 calories, 25 grams of protein. The next thing, identify the two constraints. So the constraints are the things that we're working within. In the case of Ian's breakfast, we've got oats and nut butter. So we've got these oats and we've got the nut butter. Now if you notice, here is a whole sentence that's talking about oats. So we can actually underline all of that as well. One serving of oats contains 200 calories and 200 grams of protein. And the nut butter has 180 calories and eight grams of protein per serving. So those are the two constraints. Now what we need to do is we need to define our variables. If you notice with the oats, there was information about calories and there was information about protein. And if you noticed about the nut butter, there was also information about calories and there is information about protein. So this is where some of that information starts to kind of inter intermix where it gets really confusing. But what we're going to do is we're going to create two separate equations based on our goals. So even if we look at this a little bit further, since the oats has both calories and protein in it, we could look at the calories in the oats and the protein in the oats and we could see the calories in the nut butter and the grams of protein in the nut butter. So really we've got four different things, calories of protein, oats, and nut butter. And so we're gonna use those four things to create two separate equations. We're gonna make those equations based on our goals, but first we have to define what our variables are going to be. So let's let T equal the number of servings of oats. Now typically when you're choosing variables, I tend to use the first letter of whatever the word is that I'm doing, but since oats is an O and it looks a lot like a zero, I'm choosing T uh, just because I chose T. I could have picked A uh, as well, but I just chose T. And then for the nut butter, let's let B equal the number of servings of nut butter. Okay, so here's our four things. T for the oats, N for the nut butter, calories, proteins. Four, or four, any way you like to do it. I don't know. Is that the two ways we do it? I don't know. Now that we've got all of this stuff sorted out, we're gonna write the two equations. So I'm gonna make my calories a red equation, and I'm gonna make my protein a blue equation. I'm gonna start with the servings of oats. The servings of oats, so I've got 200 calories with my oats, so that's gonna be 200 T, and then I've got 180 calories for my nut butter, plus 180B, and that has to equal 
950 calories. And then with my protein, with my protein that's going to be 25 grams, that's going to be 25 grams of my protein, I've got 2 grams of protein for my oats, 2 grams of protein for my oats, and I've got 8 grams of protein for my nut butter. So these are my two equations for this information. Notice again, I've got four items. My calories, my protein, my oats, my nut butter. And of course, these are our, our goals. If this has kind of been helpful as you've been sorting through this information and you're kind of seeing how you might be able to apply this, give me a thumbs up, like the video, share it with a friend. And now let's get to our last step. Final step is to solve the system of equations using either graphing, elimination, or substitution. And we're gonna do those in a separate video. So you can either follow the links in the description or check out this video right here. I'll see you in the next video.